Rosh Kadesh Adar. Uh, we are on the eve of a new Hebrew month, which is the month of Adar. And we are going to be talking about that tonight and also doing Holy Communion um, before we uh, begin a new Hebrew month. We usually do Holy Communion and also um, the first Shabbat of the Gregorian calendar month, we do um, Holy Communion. So we're doing that tonight. Um, before we do that, I'd like to open this to an opening prayer. Avina Malkino, our Father, our King, we thank you for a new month, for a new month, new beginning of a new month. Uh, we ask your Holy Spirit to come guide us in, in our evening session tonight in talking about this, uh, this month that is beginning tomorrow. Uh, and we ask you to open the eyes and the ears of our heart to things that we might have missed otherwise had we done this on our own, but being guided by your Rock Hakadash opens it up to to teaching, to guidance, to direction from you. And we thank you, Father God. We thank you for your direction. For you are the creator of all things. You are you are holy, and you you are our example of what we need to be. We love you, Father God, and Yeshua's precious mighty name. Amen and Amen. So we're going to talk a little bit about the month of Adar. Um, it is the sixth month of the civil year. And in the ecclesiastical year on the Hebrew calendar, however, it is the 12th month. There are 29 days to the month of Adar. And it will begin on tomorrow, February 13th. And it will go to, uh, to actually March 13th. Um, and then Nisan will begin on March 14th. So um, Purim actually um, occurs during the month of Adar, and we will be beginning um, Purim celebrations, Arab Purim, um, on the 25th of February. Um, and actually, um, there's an additional Shushan Purim on the 28th. So so it's usually, you know, um, we have the 25th, the 26th, and the 27th, but then we also have Shushan Purim. Um, and I'll explain all that when we get to that. Um, so that will be in the future, uh, very, very near future, actually, that we will be celebrating Purim. Um, the month's name, Adar, like all other from the Hebrew calendar, was adopted during the Babylonian captivity. Um, so. Um, it was Ara, Adara, or Adar, uh, so it got adopted as the month of Adar. In leap years, it is preceded by a 30-day intercal intercalary uh, month named Adar, or Aleph, uh, Aleph being the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, also known as Adar Rashan. Uh, so there's an Adar 1 and an Adar 2, um, which would be Adar Bet, which is the second letter of the Hebrew alphabet. So, um, so I want to just say that um, also, you know, Adar 1, when there's when there is a leap year, there's Adar 1 and Adar 2. Um, this all occurs during uh, the Gregorian calendar months of February to March. So um, there's the customs um, during the month of Adar. During the second temple period, there was a Jewish custom to make a public proclamation on the first day of the lunar month, Adar, reminding the people that they are to prepare their annual monetary offering to the temple treasury, known as the half shekel. So, and, and again, um, on a non-leap year, Adar only has 29 days. Um, so, we will have um, tomorrow uh, Parashat Mishpatim, um, and then Parashat Taruma, and Parashat Tetzave, um, and also we have Parashat Kitiza, and then um, the very last one we will have um, for the month. 
actually covers two parashas, Vayakal and Pekadeh. Um, so these are all Shabbats that will occur during the month of Adar. Um, some things that happened um, in the month of Adar, um, the seventh of Adar, some people fast on this day in memory of the death of Moses. Um, the 13th of Adar, um, there's the fast of Esther. Um, the 14th of Adar is Purim. And then we have Shushan Purim. Um, it is celebrated in the walled cities existing during the time of Joshua. On the 1st of Adar, um, by history in 1313 BC, there was the plague of darkness, which was the ninth plague upon the Egyptians. And this started on the first day of Adar, six weeks before the Exodus. And also um, on the second of Adar in 5, 598 BC, Jerusalem fell to Nebuchadnezzar and Jaconia was captured also. Um, the third of Adar, the second temple had been completed. And as far as Israeli history goes, on the fourth of Adar in 1992 was the death of Menachem Begin. The seventh of Adar in 1393 BC was the birth of Moses, and also he died on the seventh of Adar in 1273 BC. Um, the 13th of Adar was the war between the Jews and their enemies in Persia. And this was found in the book of Esther, chapter 9. And um, also on the 13th of Adar, 161 BC, um, the Maccabees defeated Syrian general Nicanor in a battle fought four years after the Maccabees' liberation of the Holy Land and the miracle of Hanukkah. And on the 14th of Adar, 474 BC, Purim Victory is celebrated in the Persian Empire. And also on the 15th, 474 BC, Purim Victory is celebrated in Shushan. Also on the 5th of Adar, in the 1st century um, AD, the Jerusalem is Jerusalem Gate Day. King Agrippa I in um, 21 CE began um, construction of a gate for the wall of Jerusalem, the day used to be celebrated as a holiday. Um, and in 522 BC, on the 17th of Adar, is Yom Adar, the day, Adar, the day the Jewish people left Persia following the Purim story. And then we have the 25th of Adar in 561 BC. We have the death of Nebuchadnezzar. Um, and that's seen in Jeremiah, in the book of Jeremiah, uh, chapter 52. The 27th of Adar in 561 BC is the death of Zedekiah in, in Babylonian captivity. And Meraduk, uh, Nebuchadnezzar's son and successor, freed him and his nephew, Jeconia, on the 27th of Adar, but Zedekiah died that same day. So that's a little bit of biblical history of the month of Adar. We read about Rosh Kadesh, the new moon, and this is what this is um, in Numbers um, chapter 28, um, starting with the 11th verse. On the first of the month, you are to present to Adonai a burnt offering of two young bulls, one ram, and seven flawless male lambs, a year old with three-tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering with each bowl and two-tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering with the ram and with each lamb a tenth of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, a burnt offering as a pleasing aroma, an offering by fire to Adonai. Their drink offering shall be purple, half a hen, of wine, a third of a hen of wine for ram, and a fourth of a hen for lamb. This will be the monthly burnt offering at each new moon throughout the year. Also, one male goat as a sin offering to Adonai beside the regular burnt offering is to be offered with its drink offering. So, this was to take place 
on a monthly basis and um, with the new moon. And actually, um, this is what we call uh, Moedim, appointed times. So we are to observe um, the new moon, um, bringing on the new month. Um, and Rosh Kadash means head of the month. It's the name of the first day of every month. So we are about to enter uh, the month of Adar. We also read Psalm 104 and Psalm 113 to 118 at every uh, Arab Rosh Kadash. And we're going to do that tonight. And we are also going to say the Shehekienu. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who has granted us life, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this occasion of a new month. Rosh Kadash Adar. Baruch ta Adonai Eloheinu Melek HaAlam Shekienu Vegimanu Vegiano Lazman Hazay. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, King of the Universe, who has granted us life, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this occasion. Psalm 104. Adonai rejoices in his works. Bless Adonai, O my soul, Adonai, my God. You are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty, wrapping yourself in light as a robe, stretching out the heavens like a curtain, laying beams for his upper rooms in waters, making the clouds his chariot, walking on the wings of the wind, making his angel spirits his servants a flaming fire. He set the earth upon his foundation so it should not totter forever and ever. You covered it with the deep. As with a garment, the waters standing above the mountains, at your rebuke the waters fled. At the sound of your thunder they hurried away. The waters go up the mountains, then down to the valleys and the place that you assigned to them. You set a boundary to the waters that they may not cross over, so that they may not return to cover the earth. You make springs gush into the valleys. They run between the mountains. They give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. Beside them the birds of the sky dwell. They sing among the branches. He waters mountains from his upper rooms. The earth is full of the fruit of your labors. He causes grass to spring up for the cattle and vegetation for man to cultivate, to bring forth bread out of the earth, wine that makes man's heart glad, oil to make his face shine, and bread that sustains man's heart. The trees of Adonai are satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted where birds make their nests. And the stork, her home, is the fir trees. The high mountains are for wild goats, the cliffs a refuge for rock badgers. He made the moon for appointed times. The sun knows it's going down. He bring darkness so it becomes night. When all the beasts of the forest prowl, the young lions roar for prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they gather and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his work and to his labor until the evening. Adonai, how countless are your works. In wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There's the sea, vast and wide, teeming with gliding things, innumerable living creatures, both small and large. There ships go to and fro. Le Leviathan, you form to frolic there. They all look to you to give them their food at the right time. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they, they are satisfied with good. But when you hide your face, they are dismayed. You take away their breath. They perish and return to, the, to their dust. You send forth your ruach. They are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of Adonai endure forever. May Adonai rejoice in his works. He looks at the earth, and it trembles. He touches the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing to Adonai as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God yet again. Let my meditation be sweet to him. I, I will rejoice in Adonai. Let sinners vanish from the earth and let the wicked be no more. Bless Adonai, O my soul. Hallelujah. Then we read Psalm 113 and 118. From the rising of the sun to Psalm 113. Hallelujah. Praise, O servants of Adonai. Praise the name of Adonai. 
blessed be the name of Adonai from now and forever. For the right from the rising of the sun to its going down, the name of Adonai is to be praised. Adonai is high above all nations. His glory is above the heavens. Who is like Adonai our God, enthroned on high, who brings himself down to look upon heaven and upon earth. He raises the poor from the dust, lifts up the needy out of the dunghill to seat him with princes, with the princes of his people. He settles the barren woman in her home as a joyful mother of children. Hallelujah. And the Passover song, Psalm 114. When Israel came out of Egypt, Jacob's house from a people, foreign speaking, Judah became a sanctuary, Israel his dominion, the sea saw and fled, the Jordan turned back, the mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. Why was it, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you turned back, O mountains that you skipped like rams, O hills like lambs. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. Turn the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a spring of water. Psalm 115, bless the maker of heaven and earth. Not to us, Adonai, not to us, but to your name be the glory because of your love and your faithfulness. Why should the nation say, where is their God now? Our God is in the heavens. He does whatever pleases him. Their idols are silver and gold. The work of human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, noses but cannot smell. They have hands but cannot feel, feet but cannot walk, nor utter a sound with their throat. Those making them will become like everyone trusting in them. O Israel, trust in Adonai. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in Adonai. He is their help and their shield. O oh, you who fear Adonai, trust in Adonai. He is their help and their shield. Adonai has been mindful of us. He will bless. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear Adonai, the small together with the great. May Adonai increase you more and more, you and your children. May you be blessed by Adonai, maker of heaven and earth. The heavens are the heavens of Adonai, but the earth he gave to the children of men. The dead do not praise Adonai nor do any who go down into silence, but we, we will bless Adonai both now and forever. Hallelujah. And Psalm 116, lift up the cup of salvation. I love Adonai for he hears my voice, my cries, because he has turned his ear to me. I will call on him all my days. The ropes of death entangled me and the torments of Sheol found me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of Adonai. Adonai saved my soul. Adonai is gracious and righteous. Yes, our God is compassionate. Adonai protects the simple-hearted. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return to your rest, my soul, for Adonai has been good to you. For you delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I will walk before Adonai in the land of the living. I trusted even when I said, I am very afflicted, even when I said in my haste, all men are liars. How can I repay Adonai? For all his bounties to me, I will lift up the cup of salvation and call in the name of Adonai. I will fulfill my vows to Adonai in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of Adonai is the death of his Kedeshim. O oh, Adonai, surely I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maidservant, who, who you have freed from. You have freed me from my bonds. To you I will offer a sacrifice of praise. I will call on the name of Adonai. I will fulfill my vows to Adonai in the presence of all his people, in the court of the house of Adonai, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Psalm 117, praise him, all you nations. Praise Adonai, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. For great is his loving kindness toward us, and Adonai's truth endures forever. Hallelujah. And Psalm 118. His chesed endures forever. Praise Adonai, for he is good, for his loving kindness endures forever. And chesed is mercy. O let Israel say his loving kindness endures forever. O let the house of Aaron say, for his loving kindness endures forever. O let those who fear Adonai say, for his loving kindness endures forever. 
out of a tight place I called on Adonai. Adonai answered me with a spacious place. Adonai is for me. I will not fear what can man do to me. Adonai is for me as my helper. I will see the downfall of those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in Adonai than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in Adonai than to trust in princes. All nations surrounded me. In the name of Adonai, I cut them off. They surrounded me. Yes, all around me. In the name of Adonai, I cut them off. They swarmed around me like bees. They were extinguished like burning thorns. In the name of Adonai, I cut them off. You pushed me hard to make me fall. But Adonai helped me. Adonai is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. Shouts of joy and victory are in the tents of the righteous. Adonai's right hand is mighty. Adonai's right hand is lifted high. Adonai's right hand is mighty. I will not die, but live and proclaim what Adonai has done. Adonai has chastened me hard, but has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them. And praise Adonai. This is the gate of Adonai. The righteous will enter through it. I give you thanks, because you have answered me, and I become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected have be has become the capstone. It is from Adonai. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that Adonai has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hoshiana, please, Adonai, save now. We beseech you, Adonai, prosper us. Baruch HaBashem Adonai. Blessed is he who comes in the name of Adonai. We bless you from the house of Adonai. Adonai is God, and he has given us light. Join the festival with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I praise you. You are my God, I exalt you. Praise Adonai, for he is good, for his loving kindness endures forever. And we're going to end this section, and we're going to come back with an altar call. We're also going to do Holy Communion in, in, in the next part. Father God, we thank you. We thank you and look forward to a new month. This is your appointed time and we come to honor it. We come to honor you because we love you and we want to keep your word and we want to keep your appointed times as you have commanded us to do so. So and this is Erev Rosh Padash Adar and we look forward to this month ahead and what you have for up in store for us. We trust you. We know that you are on the throne and you are in control of all things. And we love you, Father God. We love you. We love you with all our hearts and we worship and adore you. In Yeshua, Jesus' precious name, amen and amen.